Oh, two. Phone number 162. Phone number 162. So we were uh, playing around on inequalities today in chapter 9.2 or section 9.2 of Art of Problem Solving's Algebra book. And we were doing some fun inequalities just with numbers. And then you said, let's make one up. And you made up a pretty cool one. Which is larger, 7 to the 5th or 5 to the 7th? So actually, I was really excited when you made up this problem. So you ready to go? Ready to go yeah. through it? Okay. So what does 7 to the 5th mean? Well, it's... Here, right, actually. <laughs> May as well start writing the same about right there. 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. Okay. And what does 5 to the 7th mean? It Maybe means... start writing right there. 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. Yeah, that's it. Okay. And so we're wondering, is this... Is this greater? Is, is this one greater? Or maybe they're equal? Maybe. Do you think they're equal? Probably not. Why not? Because they're different sets of numbers. Well, but 2 times 4 is the same as 8 times 1. Yeah. Okay, so why do you know for sure these are different? Because these are both prime numbers. Right, because when you factor them into primes, you get different. Okay. So now this isn't so obvious to, as to what to do here, right? Yeah. Okay. So, how can we play around with this one? This this one turned out to have a, a lucky, a we lucky thing we could do. We could simplify this one a bit. We could simplify that one a bit. Okay, so great. What it's is that 25 one? Twenty-five times twenty-five times twenty-five times five. Okay, twenty-five times twenty-five times twenty-five times five. Okay. And this one is forty-nine times forty-nine times seven. Okay, that one's 49 times 49 times 7. And again, we're still trying to figure out, is this bigger, less than, or is this one bigger? Well, 49 than? and 49 are both close to 50. Okay, so we said, ah, this is interesting. This is really close to... 50. 50 times 50 times 7. Okay, now, is 50 times 50 times 7 bigger than or less than 49 times 49? It's bigger. Okay, this is bigger than this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write it like this. 49 times 49 times 7 is definitely less than 50 times 50 times 7. And then we don't know how that compares to 25 times 25 times 25 times 5. Okay, yeah. All right, but... This is actually a little bit easier to compare to this. Why? Because this is 25 times 25 times 2 times 2 times 7. All right. And 25 times 25 times 25 times 5. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're getting probably close to the bottom of our screen here. I'm not totally sure. So we got 25 times 25 times 2 times 2 times 7. And here we have 25 times 25 times 25 times 5. So what can we do? Cancel the 25s. All right, so we can cancel the 25s. I'm actually going to erase them completely. All right, now we have something interesting. 2 times 2 times 7, and compare that to 25 times it's 5. Like 125 this isn't even over 100. It's not even over 100. What is it? It's 28. 28. So that allows us to say, aha, I know this is less than that. Now, that was really lucky. It was cool you made up this problem, and it was really lucky that we could actually do some neat inequality stuff then here. Then this is less. This is greater than that. Right. This is bigger than this, which is bigger than this. So this is bigger than this, which means which one's bigger? 5 to the 7th or 7 to the 5th? 5 to the 7th. 5 to the 7th. So we solved our problem. Hmm. Cool. That was a really cool yeah. problem. Actually, that problem is so cool that it, maybe they should have put that one in the book. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Good job, sweetie. Good job. Good job making up the problem and good job working through the solution.